Good evening. We're beginning with breaking news. The U.S. government is bringing criminal charges against Edward Snowden. Today he came out as the leaker of classified NSA documents. Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden. My name is Ed Snowden. I work for Booz Allen Hamilton as an infrastructure analyst for NSA. It's been two years since NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden linked top secret documents to the media, detailing the most expansive domestic and international spy program ever devised. Despite this huge trove of data, for the most part, the American public has moved on from this story without much consequence. In an effort to refocus the national dialogue about the threats to civil liberties that these leaks uncovered, a group of artists decided to make a bust of Edward Snowden and install it in New York City. We're used to seeing in our visual vocabulary in society statues, busts, memorials. We chose to pay tribute to Snowden through the medium of a bust because that is one of the visual pieces that society uses as a uh, guidepost to who a hero is. We think the wool is being pulled over people's eyes. You know, once we were exposed to some of these ideas, we were kind of outraged at sort of the way that the media was spinning things. And we wanted an opportunity for people to make up their own minds. It took the sculptor nearly six months to mold and complete the bust. The artists then had to wait several weeks for the weather to improve before they installed it at the prison ship Martyrs Monument. It's really not just about the bust, it's about the context, because we feel it's a continuation of a story that was started hundreds of years ago. In the Revolutionary War, the British Army had these massive prison ships that were eventually sunk. And so these are people that died in part so that our country can have the freedoms that this country was founded on. If you engage in polite debate, uh, touting your disdain for the way the system is, it kind of just stays at the status quo. Without risk, there really is no reward. We look at this as a gift to the city, but you know, gifts are sometimes not accepted. We've gone to great lengths to make sure that aesthetically, the item that we're placing there is honoring the aesthetics that are already in place. Everything from the width of the shoulders of the statue being the same width as the eagle's wings to the bronze patina finish, everything has been made so that it feels like a cohesive unit. But we're also installing it in a way that it could be removed without doing permanent damage to the structure. If this thing gets taken down right away, it certainly will be a disappointment, but we think it'll be worth it thanks to the internet. The fact that a risk was taken, the fact that an image comes out of that event that can be passed around can never be undone. So you can rip the statue out, but you can't erase the fact that it happened and that people are sharing it and that could inspire people to speak up in their own creative ways. I